Mes amis, comment ça va aujourd'hui? Welcome to Daring to Dare, Chapter 4, Unconditional Love, Part 12 already. Whew. Well, I know you just can't wait to find out how I planned a wedding in six weeks. Well, I knew I had to have a game plan, and this is pretty much how it worked. I ordered the wedding invitations. I got them within two weeks. I went to a material shop, got a pattern for a wedding dress, found a dressmaker, and I started on my gown. Try to find a reception hall. Couldn't find one. Try to find a band at last minute. Couldn't find one. But I was lucky. I got this beautiful little church, um, just a tiny little church, which was fine because we were just having a tiny wedding. We only invited 25 people, and that's on both sides total. So things were moving along. Even though I still had to be home by midnight, keep in mind I'm engaged now, my mother insisted that I be home at midnight. I couldn't believe it. No one could believe it, but that's what it was. And then someone decided to give us a hard time. Now, of all the characters you've heard about in this saga, who do you think it was that started to make a fuss? And what was the fuss all about? And what was going to be the conclusion of the fuss? <laughs> I know, it's for you to figure out. <laughs> so, send me a comment, let me know. Who do you think it is? I would love to chat with you. I would love, I would love it. So please, send me some information on who you think would be mean enough to cause us problems within that six week period of trying to plan a wedding. I guess you'll have to come back to the next episode. See you then. Bye.